Gase just came back and you you checked out the first two sets and you said like this is going to be a wrap by FPU and you come back and turn on Studio 23 and we're still on because Ateneo just made an unbelievable comeback. Really, that uh, the, actually on the third set, uh, FEU helped Ateneo a lot into taking that set because of their 15 errors. But in this set, Ateneo, in, the, in this fourth set, Ateneo was able to take full control actually. But uh, a few errors on the service line made uh, Coach Roger Gureyev scratch his head again a few times. But uh, FEU losing their composure in this fourth set, especially their offense. They were not able to run some of their places like the first and the second set because of poor reception. And uh, although yung mga digs ni Taganas was really great, especially towards the end of the set, showed us how she, uh, what she's made of. And uh, again, ito Ateneo asking for a fifth set against FEU. This is how important this game is. And uh, really, we g and they got it. <laughs> we are going to our fifth and final set of this ball game. And as with any fifth set, as long as the team on top gets up by two points, 15 is uh, the maximum that we're gonna hit, or we're looking for at least in, in when it, you know it comes to points. So let's see what uh, which team jumps, you know, quicker to the lead. Again, the attack points of. Uh, Ateneo has uh, brought them to this uh, stage. 15 attack points, 10 for FEU. Blocks, napakasipag na Ateneo in their blocking, especially in that fourth set. Four blocks for them against the only one of FEU and forced errors. One more for Ateneo at seven and six for FEU. You know, yun lang talaga yung, uh, what brought Ateneo at this stage is their offense. squads revving up the teams involved in this monster matchup at the arena in San Juan. And if you want to check out the replay of this match, uh, tune in to Balls Channel 34 on Sky Cable 9 p.m. tonight. Fifth and final set. Ateneo at six and four, taking on the five and five FEU. Oh, and let off that combination play was still able to take that one. She had hang up in the air for quite a while. Stayed up there. Such an excellent, you know, mind for volleyball. Yeah, really, really good court sense. Pasquale. Two straight points. Good points as well from Ateneo to start the fifth set. You know, Ateneo has been scoring from that middle hit. Even with only a push. Not even a, a spike. The set to Tianco. And that's the first point of FBU. And in, you know, in a 15 set or, or 15 point set, you don't want to be left it's by right. your opponent in, when it comes to points. You've got to be neck to neck. I said it's very quick, only 50 points, and it's still a rally point system. Vivas now blocked by a Pasquale keeper. And again, blocked this time by Pasquale. On the other side, Bianco ties it all up at two all. That was very powerful, but still Tiang was able to put it in the right spot. Scoring that last point for FEU. We are now tied. And remember, FEU lost in the first round of eliminations against Ateneo. And they're trying to mount a comeback here and take their revenge. Even up picks here, season 72. As that goes wide on the third ball for Ateneo. And let's listen in to Jessica Mendoza. Coach Nespa Millar told the girls to relax. Ang Ateneo hindi nakikipaglaban sa lakas. Isip nila ang ginamit nila. Kailangan tapatan natin yan. He added that all they needed to clinch this set is to focus, pointing out that it was their attitude as well as their errors that lost them the third and fourth sets. He specifically told the girls that they have to win this one for him because they are the ones on the court. Ayoko na maglaro eh. He said, kayo na yun. Pero gusto kong manalo. Ikayo. Eric and Mosey. Thank you, Jessica.
Jessica. Let's see if the girls respond pretty plain. The uh, orders and instructions from uh, Coach Hamilad. Wow, straddling the net that long. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. And it went in favor of FAU. That ball probably traveled up. <laughs> two feet. Maybe two feet, two and a half. Is that a trick shot? <laughs> Could have gone either way, Gretchen, or praying that it goes FU's way. For all on that service error by Vivas, let's uh, listen in to Batch Gonzana. Yes, Eric, this is the make or break round. One word that coach kept saying in the huddle is the word is the word receive. He kept reiterating this on this factor. We have our place, utilize it by setting our place. FU has no clue. We do so. Take advantage. Coach told her Vasha to do her thing. Attack hard. Push yourself. Ultimate teamwork, guys. Eric and Mosey. Thanks, Pat. Well, her Vasha has been getting a lot of touches here in uh, this set. But Tianko also making some damage for uh, FEU. Yeah, Tianko adding up about three points already in this set. And FEU on top by one, Mosey. Edge of your seat. Volleyball is what you're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. I that knew it was coming these two teams. Tip by Hervasho, blocked by Gonzalez. Here comes Hervasho again. Jose to Shaira. Hervasho. Oh, and last minute touch there by Vivas. She knew it was going out just at the last second. And she could not help. I think it was her hair flying around. Because she jumped already. That's why the ball hit her. Ay, hindi, nakatala na siya. <laughs> Tapos umiwan last minute. Too late. Five all. Kimpo serving. Jose. Sana is blocked. No, that's four touches. Every trying to go for a combination play. Shaira Gonzalez not connecting that time. And now Ateneo takes the upper hand. 6-5. Both coaches, Espamilar for FEU and Roger Garea for Ateneo, they're all standing up. Three ball down with the now to Ateneo. Will they get this one? Too close to the net and the horse arm touched the net. That's a net violation and we're tied at 6 all. It was really close to the net, but Grenzano still went for it. Take a look here. See this back set by Jan Ferrer. The serve. Tough reception for Kimpo. Hit from the back row by Kailet. Cabana blocked. Picked up by FEU. Yulango. Tipping it. Here comes Hervasio. Blocked and that's on the line. Point FEU. Just on the line. You see it once more. Hervasho blocked and no one was there for Ateneo to take that ball. Seven serving six. Hervasio. That's on the line. Uh, it's called in. No argument from uh, the FEU bench. Seven all. Both teams putting it out there <laughs> on the floor. Reception. Cabana. And Hervasho right on top of the ball for that hit. That was perfect execution by Hervasho. I know what the time for it to come. As you'll see it once more. Ito, na ibabaw ng bola. Nasa ibabaw. That's the perfect execution of a spike. And the blockers were way too late for Hervasho and we do the change over. Ateneo is on top by one, eight, seven in set number five. Gretchen Haas serving for the Lady Eagles. 